Hello, this is Mark Tucker and welcome to Action Hero Debugging. This video will show you how to use Node Inspector to debug the Node.js code for your Action Hero API. It will briefly discuss how starting your Action Hero app for debugging differs on Windows and show you how to set a breakpoint in an action. You, once again, you can find Action Hero at actionherojs.com and Node Inspector on GitHub. So what we've already done on our project here is we've followed the steps on the Action Hero site. I've created a directory called My Hero and went ahead and installed Action Hero, generated a new project, and well, let's go ahead and start it. So here you follow the, the path node modules dot bin action hero start and that will go ahead and start up our action hero server. Now I know that with the default template there is an action called status. So if we go over to our browser and go to localhost 8080, which is where action hero starts up by default, API status, then we can go ahead and see that we get a status back. Um, it tells us that we went ahead and um, executed the actions called status and then we got this response back which included stats and other things about uh, Action Hero. So now we can do the same thing also in this uh, Chrome plugin called Postman. Um, so we're doing a git on this 8080 API status and we'll go ahead and send the request and get the response back down here. Same thing, just a different tool. Now, let's see what we need to do to debug this. If we go to the Node Inspector um, site here and GitHub, it will tell us that we need Node and NPM installed, which we do. And we want to go ahead and install um, Node Inspector globally. So let's go ahead and we're going to open up another uh, window here. And um, let's go ahead and do, I've already got it installed, but I'll just show you what that looks like. So we're going to do an npm install globally for node inspector. Now, something that you might have a little problems with, especially if you're running on Windows, is there's a few things that you need to do to get set up um, because this particular uh, package for node installer uses um, node, uh, node jip and it um, execute some code and there's a number of things that you need to do. So I'm going to do another video that talks specifically about getting Windows set up to um, run the the Action Hero tutorial that's the blog sample and it needs some of those same things and so I'll in that video I'll show you what to do on Windows specifically to get things started. You'll need Python installed and Node JIP and you'll need a, an SSL um, path and there's a number of things that you'll need so we're not going to cover that but let's uh, hopefully everything's uh, up and running and you were able to get node installer um, running on this box and what it says is that in order to um, start what you need to do is you need to have start up your application with node with this debug option and then you need to run um, node inspector you need to get that going so let's um, go back to our server. This is our um, server that is running our Action Hero API. And this is what we did to start it. And what you can do on other um, operating systems other than Windows, you can just do node debug right here in front of that and get going. But you can't do that on Windows. You actually have to change your path a little bit. So instead of this bin here, you're going to do action hero slash bin without the dot and then that should get you started here so now we are running our action hero with the debugger turned on so it's saying that the debugger is listening on port 5858 and once again our um, API is running on port 8080 so now we need to get node inspector started. Let's see if we can 
So this is what we'll do is we're going to start Node Inspector and I'm going to supply a dash dash web port to some other port number because if we don't supply that then Node Inspector is going to want to use 8080 and that's going to conflict with um, our Action Hero API um, server um, support number. So let's go ahead and start that on 4044 and so now that is started. So it says in order to debug this, we're going to need to go to this URL, um, port 4444, and then tell it that 5858 is where we're going to actually have our node um, JavaScript code. So if I go over here and reload this, then so this is um, node inspector finding this uh, this port 5858 which is where our debugger is and so it's going to show you the server side code here so here's our status JavaScript um, action here and it has a run method so let's go ahead and set a breakpoint here and if we go back over here and execute this then we can come back in and see that sure enough we are in this uh, run method. So whenever you navigate to a URL status, then it looks up and finds the action that matches with that portion of the URL, and it finds the status action here and executes its run method. So that's how we can get into here. And now we're, we've finished executing that, and we get the response back. Same thing works if we're running it in Postman. So it's loading, it's waiting. I'm over here debugging and now I'm out and I get my response back. So let's go ahead and take a look at a, a few other places that are kind of interesting in this code. So if you go down here to the servers area and find, this, find the web server, you can go down here and find the code that gets executed when the uh, response, so when the response is complete then it's going to come into this function here so let's go ahead and turn that breakpoint on and it's going to go through and add the server information to the response the requester information to the response and it's going to do some um, setting of the different response HTTP codes if you've got that turned on in config so if we go down here to config and find this error codes here then that's where it's going to go. And then when it gets all done making our response, it's going to do a send message with that response. So if we can come back in here, up here to send message, turn that one on, then we can see just kind of step through what the process is when the action actually calls this next, then it's going to go into our other code. So let's do that as well. So going to execute this. We're in here. Sure enough, we're in the run. Now we're getting ready to do next. We're down in here in our complete response. And finally, we end up here in send message, which then sends it out. And that's it for uh, debugging. Hopefully that helps you.